hey guys my name is Dame Lady and welcome to my channel so today I'm going to be showing you how I turn this closure I don't know if you can see it looks very wide and it looks like um, I don't know it looks like <laughs> It looks really scanty and it looks very weird. So I'm going to be showing you how I turn it from this state into like a kinky kind of closure. So if that's what you're interested in, please keep watching. Guys, so first things first, you're going to need either your eye pencil or your eyeliner. I prefer the eyeliner because it's waterproof, so it's going to last a lot longer. And your mascara. I'm now, I'm using the Huda Beauty highlighter. It is waterproof and I love it. So first things first, what I'm going to be doing is that I am going to be filling the closure, the brown spots, the bald spots on the closure. I'm going to be filling it in with my eyeliner. So the hairline by the closure is very thin, so you could I could see some um brown spots, which was the lace showing. So what I'm doing is that I'm just filling those parts in too, so that I don't see like little brown spots all over the closure when I'm done. I'm going to wait for the eyeliner to dry completely before now going in with my concealer. I'm using the LA Pro. LA Girl Pro Concealer <laughs> to do this part. You should use your color or the closest to your skin tone to do this. And then I'm using my highbrow brush to feel, to define the parts that I want. So while defining your parts, I would advise you to just do like one straight line. One straight line being like, a straight line of O's. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but it helps you understand what I'm saying. So you do one straight line instead of two or three because you're going for the Kim K closure kind of look. So it's advisable to do just one straight line. Okay, as you can see, I will show you now to zoom in closer. So you can see some strands of hair were um, stained with the concealer. You don't want that. You don't want that. That is where your mascara comes in. All you are going to do is to use your mascara to brush those sides. So you have to make sure that your mascara is stained with like the black mascara. Because obviously the black mascara, <laughs> you have to make sure, you have to brush them to... You know make them black again so you don't your part is not rough it doesn't you don't have like black stains all over okay guys so this is the final look this is how it looks like but well, this is how it ended up looking like so yeah that's basically how i customize my closure to make it look more i don't know to make it look like to make it look newer especially when it's old because i've had this wig for like 20 since like 2018 2017 2018 that's that's like five years ah, ah. <laughs> and this wig has gone through lots of stages I and mean, there was a time it was like 18 inches long there was a time it was like um 14 inches long because i cut it short there was a time it was like shoulder length and then now it's like chin length so it has gone through like lots of stages i don't know probably when i see that here i might like cut it really short like a skull cut or what do they call it i don't know anyway so yeah so this is basically how it looks like now compared to how it looked like before i like it so if you have any closures that you feel looks like they're all plucking i mean they're all going away they're just they look whatever you could customize it to look like this 
thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video and if you have any questions or comments or you have just something generally nice to say about me please do so in the comment section below yeah and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime i post a new video thank you so much bye